What you doing on Taco on VAC? I'm going to talk about the movie Akira. Yes, the movie is over 30 years old and meaning it's o older than me. But the reason I'm talking about it is one for two reasons. Doesn't make much sense the way I said that. <sighs> doing, doing this again. I'm drunk. Hang on. What you doing on Taco on VAC? I'm talking about the movie Akira. Yes, it's weird that I may be talking about a movie over 30 years old, but it also means it's older than me. Makes it even weirder, I know. But the reason I'm talking about it is because a remastered 4K version came out in theaters starting on September 24th. And another reason is I just never saw it. Now, this movie should have been done last year. The movie takes place in 2019. It should have taken, this remastered version should have came out in 2019. I don't know why they did it. They missed a big opportunity. Maybe it's because, depending on where you look, 2020 is the 30th anniversary of the English edition. I don't know. You can look in a bunch of places. It's kind of hard to pick out where this movie actually came out in both Japanese and English. I don't know. But I didn't know what to expect from this movie. I never saw it before. And it makes me a little embarrassed as an anime fan to kind of admit that it's been on my watch list for so long and I just never got around to watching it now I kind of just put this up to it's not my favorite genre to watch it in and it's also kind of just like I don't know it's just I know how famous the movie is it's probably the most famous anime movie to exist I mean it's up there with Studio Ghibli but you know what I just never got around to it and I feel that shame as an anime fan I should have watched it much sooner I just I knew nothing about it like <laughs> just looking at the poster for the movie I thought the person on the mo movie was Akita yeah I, I know that less about it all I know is from the description something about a psychic kid doing whatever I thought that was the person on the poster it wasn't I don't know I'm ashamed what what can I say? But it's also hard for me to believe that this movie is <laughs> over 30 years old. It's over two hours. There's a lot that goes on. It is wild. It's a brutal trip of a movie. And it, there's so much weird stuff. There's all these kind of trippy visions that's go on. Uh, there's just so much. <laughs> and it's really cool. It just seems like something that would have been done, you know, with, I don't want to say more advanced technology. But yeah, it seems like a story that's should have been made with the more advanced stuff but no this was 30 years ago of anime history oh man it's no wonder that this movie is such a legend in anime movies it's no wonder no, so many people know about it now the rest of the stuff i'm going to say it's not really to be like a review of the movie like i said this movie's over around there's no reason to review it you have either seen it or you haven't seen it at this point, is it really even a spoiler? Who knows? But I'm not going to go in that territory. I'm just going to talk about kind of my reaction of it. I don't even want to say reaction. Just my thoughts about it. Just in general. My expectations versus what actually happened. Because it is completely different. Like I said, I had no, I had no idea what this movie was. And it was so enjoyable. And I just... It was just such a great experience. But... Yeah, let me just start with just random things, I guess. I don't know. Looking at the movie, one, the story, it doesn't really dive deep into background, which is great. It just dives right into the story itself. There's all kind of world bending it could have done, and it just didn't need to. It didn't really matter to the story itself. If, you know, if you're used to all these stories in life and you have this experience, you can pretty much tell what's going on. One weird thing I saw, and it's not even that weird, it's just like a lot of the characters look really similar. And that's just compared to how characters in anime look today. And today, the main character stands out no matter what. His friends stand out a little bit more than everyone else's background characters. This, all the characters kind of just look the same. And yeah, that's fine. That's more realistic, I guess? Is it? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but it's also like a lot of the characters... They just kind of seem like assholes. 
Yeah, I didn't really like any of the characters until the story really got going. There was some good characters, like, as in good characters, I mean, like, decent people kind of characters. There was Kay, and then, like, the three children, um, Kiyako, Takashi, and Masura, the three psychic kids. But, yeah, everyone else just kind of seemed like a dick, and I didn't like any of them. But eventually, as the story goes on, you get to see the main character, Kaneda, actually, you know, he grew, he grew on me. And then, of course, the main antagonist, Tetsuo, I mean, he's complicated. He felt like he didn't want to be protected, even though he always was by Kaneda. And then he just wants to feel like he has power, and he kind of becomes obsessed with this power, and he kind of just turns into a monster. And towards the end, at least in a literal sense. And, yeah, it's just a story that took the time to actually develop a character into something I actually liked and wanted to follow. It took these asshole kind of characters in, in a rough world, admittedly, but, and then you went on a journey with them that made them like into something decent. But, man, Akira, not what I expected. I, like, I have no idea. And like, Akira, I said, I thought was the person on the poster. And the person, who is Kaneda, who's not even an antagonist, is like he's the main focus point for the protagonist, but besides that, him and then his little motorcycle thing, like they play on little relevance in like the actual overall story. And the story isn't even complicated. They try to make it seem a little complicated because of what Akira is. Maybe it's this manifestation of powers that everyone could have if they just were able to use it. Then they use Akira to reference these kids that have the powers. Then Akira is a separate kid who also had powers. Aki the like what the name Akira actually belongs to is a little complicated. But besides that, it's it's a it's just a whirlwind of so much going on. But that's just me kind of being a little overwhelmed by something I put off for a long time. I can't believe I waited so long to watch this movie. I'm so glad I did. There's, it's still hard for me to believe this movie is 30 years old. It did so much. No wonder it is such a legend for anime movies. But what do you think? Have you watched this movie? I, I, I'll just say, if you haven't watched the movie, it's free on Tubi, a free streaming service with some ads, whatever. But yeah, you should watch it if you haven't seen it yet. It's definitely worth it. If you're an anime fan and you have not watched it, watch it now. Do not feel the shame I feel. Watch it now, know what it is, just do it. I say just do it. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like what I have to say, go ahead and like the video. If you want to see what I say about other anime stuff and all kinds of other stuff I talk about, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see why I do that. But until next time, I am DAC. Thank you for watching and bye.